Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to share my experience of getting my BYD Aero 3 serviced. Now, as you might be aware that unlike Tesla, although it's an electric car, you still have to get it serviced every 20,000 kilometers or every year. Just a warning to all the BYD fans out there. In this video as well, I'll be talking about my negative experience, which I had with the booking and getting my car serviced. Although there's a heaps of positive aspects that came along while I was getting my car serviced, I'm uh, uh, overall quite happy with it. But uh, there's been some comments recently where I believe there's some misunderstanding that I'm trying to put a negative image towards BYD or Tesla and that's not my intention. And if I uh, include that conversation in this video, it might take away from the fact that this is a specific video for my experience with servicing the car. So let's keep that topic for another video. Before we dive in, let's break the overall experience into three parts. Booking the service, getting the car serviced or attending the service, and other features or other experiences. Now let's kick in with the, the booking of service part. As you might be aware that the Teslas you can book in a service via the app and you don't have to actually talk to a person but with BYD does have an option to show you service aspect but it only tells you any nearby centers where you can get your car serviced. It's good that at least you get the contact details and you can contact by the app but you still have to call them and that's the way of booking the service by calling the service center. On the plus side, when BYD launched, it was actually planned that Autocar or Kmart Auto will be taking care of all the service aspects of BYD. And I'm glad that service network of BYD or dealership network of BYD has extended so much that, you know, you can get your car serviced at dealerships. If not anything, it actually provides a certain level of uh, reliability as well as, you know, satisfaction in uh, owner's mind that at least you're getting your car serviced at the dealership and not uh, came out order which you might not prefer however booking the car service was not such a smooth ride because when i tried to call the closest service center which was in north lakes uh, brisbane we uh, tried to call them uh, at least three days before we can actually connect to a person and that too we were not able to connect to the dealership which I wanted to get my car service. What happens is like if you call the service line and your call doesn't get answered, it transfers to a national hub where I believe it's a great idea, like at least you get uh, your call answered. So he had to send an email to the local dealership with my details for a call back and that didn't happen for another two days. So me trying to book in a service took four days. Although I understand I could have gone to the dealership, but that would have taken 15 or 20 minutes each side and that's like an hour of task, which could have been done via the app or the phone. Uh, but uh, after getting the car serviced, the overall experience was good off booking. They were sending me regular notification and they did confirm by a message that the service book. Uh, let's talk about the attending the service part of the experience. Uh, the service center that I visited is called Tok Honda and it's run by Honda and uh, I believe they've just added BYD as one of their brands which they are selling from the dealership. So the service team was quite uh, I think experience in that aspect of getting the car service so I didn't have any sort of negative experience there it was all flawless and uh, great and the communication along with the details of what uh, I wanted to be done to my car was conveyed uh, really well and I'm quite happy with it. Unlike my experience with the BYD wrap at uh, Fortitude Valley while I was trying to get a test drive and he drove the car for half of the test drive I don't know what he was trying to do but uh, talking about missing a point because if you are going for a test drive, you want to drive the car, not be a passenger and see how the car drives and feels while you are sitting in the passenger seat. But overall, I was quite happy with dropping the car off. Uh, now moving on to the other aspects or other features or other experiences that I had with the servicing. The first good part is like I was able to secure a loaner car which I was not able to do in uh, my booking with Tesla in 2021. It could have been because there was shortage of cars or whatever but I think they gave out uh, Uber vouchers for like 50 bucks which in my case wasn't too practical because I live a bit further from the service center and it wouldn't have covered me like even halfway so I prefer getting a loaner car and which BYD was able to do so I'm quite uh, grateful for that. We just picked it up yeah so pickup was great as well like it 
nothing to complain it was quick they were quite orderly with it and speaking of that i actually had a another issue with my car that the rfid card that it comes with stopped working but it was not such a big deal because we we don't actually have to use it to uh, unlock the car because i'm used to getting the key out and you know using it because with that you can use the uh, functions of the car like not walk away to lock uh, pressing the button on the driver door to unlock and lock the car which is uh, i think you, uh, i had to get used to it but which is normal with every other car so i don't see that to be an issue overall the experience of getting the car picked up was not at all bad if anything it was uh, good and they were able to fix the NFC card without any charges because it was a faulty card apparently which is good and the service cost was 189 dot they did ask me if I want to get the tires rotated but uh, since the previous owner had a uh, flat tire or the tire burst so they had to change one of the tires and I'm planning to get these tires changed either way soon so that was something which I confirmed with them. Is it like a mandatory thing? Do you recommend it? And they recommended if I want to get the tires changed either way, then maybe uh, skip on it. But it would have costed maybe another $60, $70. So overall, $250 would have been something which... $250, $256, I think, would have been something which I would have paid if I were to get the tires rotated, which is not bad for a tire rotation and balancing, if you ask me. Because I believe for Teslas, it could be upward of... $150 if you want to get tires rotated and balanced which fortunately for us we haven't had to uh, pay for it yet and I'll let you know if you want how and why we haven't paid for actually anything in our Tesla as far as maintenance goes and we got a couple of parts replaced including the filters and we got it serviced once and much more and we haven't paid a single dime for it so far so if you are interested, leave uh, comments asking about that and I'll let you know how we accomplished it and uh, maybe you would be able to get that deal as well. Well, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments your experiences with BYD or other car service stories that are worth sharing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.